come with us on a very, very turquoise journey. Today we're doing a turquoise ink comparison. I ran through some of the newer released inks and grabbed five different turquoise inks that I thought would be good to compare because you might not have seen them side by side before. Here's some of the other things I'll be using to conduct the tests. This is the D. Charles pin wipe. It helped me not make a mess. These are the cotton swabs that I'll use during the test and I'll be using the Sailor Hokoro dip pens. I like them, they're easy to cart around because I don't hurt the nibs because I can flip them upside down and store them. I'm gonna use the Coloring Tiny Mini Dipper and I'll be using some paint brushes, just standard regular paint brushes. And later you'll see me use one of the Weringel Jacquer notebooks. Okay, the first ink we swatched was the Robert Oster. All five inks are standard inks. And that's the Robert Oster $10 teal. And then we followed that with the Dominant Industry Horseshoe Bend, which is a pen chalet exclusive. And then we jumped to Sailor's USA 50 State Collection with Alaska ink. And then we pulled in one of the more recent Wear and Joel World Literature ink releases. It's Robinson Crusoe, inspired by the novel of the same name. And last we did Van Diemen's, and that's an exclusive ink in their solar system collection, and it's the Uranus ink. Okay, and then we just did a quick writing sample with each of them, followed by a dry test, so you could see which ones dried faster. And then we did, at the end here, we're gonna show you the water test, where we let the ink dry completely, and then we run a wet cotton swab across the top to see how they respond to water. Dominant Industry Horseshoe Bend was the fastest drying ink at seven seconds. And now we'll run through and expose all of them to some water and see how they respond. All five of our featured turquoise inks held up pretty well to water with Van Diemen's actually holding up the best. And here is a really good look at the different color variations that they all offer. Alaska is the lightest and brightest. I also see it being the most consistent color. Here's a look at the inks just in writing with fine and medium dip pen nibs. The most intense is probably that horseshoe bend, and I love the shading properties we're seeing. Follow that pin chalet.